It's 12 o'clock on a Wednesday and this is the Wizard Product Review. I'm Dave. I'm Craig. And on this week's show... Uh, yes, on this week's show, first up, we've got... Uh, the legend that is Robert Bax. Oh, Robert Bax. You know what? <laughs> it is back. I think there's very few things that have come in over the, the entire time we've been doing the Wizard Product Review. There's very few <laughs> items that have come in that both you and I have had it, put it into our show, and have continued to keep it in our show. Yeah. And his mouth, uh, mouth coil routine. Mouth coil is routine. I, I do it in bigger <laughs> shows, smaller shows, kids shows, it, it, family shows. It's just awesome. And he, he took a very simple idea and just made it a well, masterpiece. Well, he put a routine with it, didn't yeah. he? And yeah. uh, he put a lot of personality with it, a lot of laughs. Yeah. And he does say that on this DVD. He says, you know, there's other magicians out there. They'll go to a lot of trouble and they'll make like very, very sophisticated routines. Mm. And he, taught, he does this really sort of impassioned speech about the magic is just a tool for you to mm -hmm. hang your personality. It's like a hook yeah. to hang your personality on and hang the, the entertainment on. Yeah, which is and you great. know exactly what he means when you watch him perform The Miser's Dream. It, 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 there are, this is the most ridiculously easy version of The Miser's Dream I have ever seen. So easy. The one move that's in there, you can't even consider it a slight. It's not a slight. It's so incredibly easy. And the way that he actually gets the coins into position at the beginning. Yeah, He's ready to genius. start the I've routine. never seen that. It's great. Now, when you're looking at... A, and that's what... For those of you that don't know what Miser's Dream is, by the way, uh, you have a bucket, uh, an empty metal bucket, you produce coin, 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 and you end up with a massive production of coins. And this has been done for years and years and years. And some of the uh, big names in magic, even Teller, you know, yeah. have done some amazing... Uh, coin uh, Miser's Dream routine. So what does Robert Bax bring to the table that makes it as good as, if not better than a lot of the ones incredibly entertaining routine. Yeah. And that's what you get, just like the mouth coil routine. You yep. get years worth of research on one DVD. This is not something that somebody's thought of an idea and thought, hey, you know, I'll cut a hole in the corner of a card box and I'm going to put it on a DVD and no. milk everybody for the idea. This is something that's been done for years and he proves that on the DVD because the DVD opens up with a performance of Robert doing this effect probably 10 years ago. In and 1990, then, well, it coming up to uh, 20 years ago now. Crikey. And then at the end of the DVD, you see him doing it present day. And it's funny, you know, the routine hasn't changed that much over the years. But you can still see every single bit of business is there. And it's been worked in. You know, And it's been worked in and it's been put on DVD. And it's there for any worker just to go, thank you very much. There's a guaranteed fantastic 10 minutes in my show this Christmas. It really is. And you know what I liked about it, Dave? Yeah. One thing I liked about it, and we never discussed this beforehand, but one thing I really liked is when he does, he, he puts multiple live performances on there, but one of them, he's performing with a very difficult child on yeah. stage that doesn't want to speak, doesn't want to say a word, asking questions, not interacting with them at all. And a lot of entertainers would have scrapped that and done it again with a different kid. He put that footage on there, and you see, it's, it's almost a masterclass in itself, yeah. seeing how a professional deals with that situation of having a child up on stage to help with a routine that requires a lot of interaction, a lot of speaking on behalf of the child, the child's not speaking at all, and how he milks that and makes it even funnier because of the situation that it's created. The, the routine itself is probably about six to eight minutes, would you say? Yeah. And From the moment he gets the kid out, this is the routine. He's, he's, he's got the kid, stands them on a chair. He's got loads of gags, loads of bits of business with them until... They eventually check the bucket out. There's nothing in the bucket. And then he's got loads of different yep. coins in his hand. They choose one of the coins. He drops the coin in the bu bucket. He yep. says, uh, you know, I'm rich, you're poor. Uh, that's how taxes work in this country. There's all sorts of lines. <laughs> really and funny, in, in situ, they work very, very well. And then what happens and he says I'll produce a coin from behind your ear and he drops it in and then there's another one that comes and then from the top of the head and then he's got, he's got this hilarious situation and uh, sequence at the end and it's the timing of it that works so well where he moves around the kid and it's head head under the arms and then he forward. leans forward and he sort of yeah uh, poops Brilliant. he poops one out and uh, <laughs> he does say he says there's a line there where he says oh yeah the, the other stuff was good but when I made him crap one out of his ass you know that you went wild and he does say you know I work in New York the line works very well but you could easily tone that line down so he pooped yeah. it out of his backside yeah but the routine is absolutely fantastic really and is. you're laughing and 
it gets the audience so involved that when he's producing the coins from their nose, that but the audience actually cheer. Don't oh, they're they? cheering! And you don't, it's it's just so good. And the one thing I want to say about it is. Because he's performing it on a child, don't make the mistake in thinking this is just a routine for children's entertainers. Oh, no. It is not. This would work. He, the final performance is in well, a comedy even, club. Even, da even David Copperfield, uh, Lance Burton, they all choose to have a bit with a kid in yep. their show. Yep. You know, in their early sort of magic specials, Copperfield always had yep. the bit, let's go on a kid hunt. Yep. And th they were always the bits that kind of... Made you sh made you human really when you yep. got to interact with people yep. rather than doing all the big production stuff and that they're yep. the bits that normally get your personality across it works in a show so well in a family show type environment as well but I'll, I'll tell you one thing if you are a kids performer you have to do this because I see so many children's performers and they do the tricks that are designed just for the children and it's a cliche that you go to a kids party and the adults are at the back of the room chatting because the kids are watching the show and the magic is just aimed at the kids. When I perform, I like the adults to be watching me as well. I want the magic to and entertain be full. the adults and be full because they're the ones yeah, that are going to be would fool, you. This will they're fool adults. That... He's got a great production of a giant coin at the yeah. end as well. The bottom line is, it's just I watched the DVD, had a big grin on my face all the way through because it's just so entertaining. It's a pleasure to watch the teaching. It's so easy to do. It's yeah. such a basic slight. I'm going to do this. I am going to do this. Robert, you have done it to me again. I very rarely put stuff into my, my you know, kind of stand-up show. And both items that I've seen of yours, I've put in and I consider amazing workers. You really are a genius. It's got to get worker of the week. It's got to get worker of the week. Robert Bax, I'm telling you right now, I know he watches the show, Robert Bax is a genius at routining classic routines and bringing them bang up to date and making them For commercial. a family audience as it's well. It's amazing. How much it, give it? How much am I going to give it? Well, but we've got to base it on the fact that I'm going to do it, you're going to do I'll it. Give it I'll give it nine. He's going to do He's it. Do it. <laughs> Blamo would do it if he actually had opposable thumbs. Everybody <laughs> would do this routine. I'm going to tell you right now, I'm going to give this 97%. It may seem like a lot, but it's a lot because when I find a routine that's this good, it's worth its weight in gold. And this is brilliant. It takes up very little pocket space. Work of the week. Awesome. Work of the week. 97%. What about you? Well, as I said, didn't I? 90, 94%? 94%. I'm going to give it 94%. 94, 94%, 97%. That's absolutely brilliant. Robert, I don't know when your next release is coming out, but send one our way because I know it's going to Yeah, happen. we need it. Yeah. We need it bad. We need a new show for Easter. <laughs> we'll see you next week on the Wizard Product Review. I'm Dave. I'm Craig. See you next week. <laughs>